importance of having a good set of tyres on your car to keep you safe. Especially when the driving conditions take a turn for the worst, such as snow, ice or rain. A well-executed demonstration there of what happens when your tyres are not up to the job. I've constructed this 150 feet waterlogged stretch of track, at the end of which is a large pile of boxes that will set off an explosion when hit. I'm going to put three different types of tyres to the test, and I've invited a family along to see if they can predict which will come out on top. What do you think of my driving? No. Guys, let's talk tyres, OK? We've got three different sorts of tyres here. So, we've got a brand new tyre that has never seen the road before, a racing car tyre with no tread, and a half-worn tyre that has seen plenty of road use. What we're doing today is a test in safety. Which one of these three tyres will stop the car the quickest in the rain, all right? So I'm going to hit 50 miles an hour, and at the flag over there, I'm going to slam on the brakes. And I want you guys to guess which of the three tyres, the brand new one, the racing tyre, or the half-worn tyre, will stop the car the quickest. It gets more traction oh, yeah. because it's newer. Check you out with the word traction in there. <laughs> All right, we'll go with that one. So you're saying this one is newer, more traction, stop the car quicker than any of the other two? Yeah. OK, done. Right, little man. I think the half worn because you have to break it in like a gymnastics grip. I like it. Right, so you're going for the half worn tyre, one for that. Right, Dad. Going with the racing tyre. OK, why is that? Uh, just more um, contact with the cement. Right, OK. <laughs> one for the racing tyre. Which one are you going for? I would think the racing tire, too. I think they're designed to stop because they go at such high speeds. What? So. We agree on something? <laughs> <laughs> All, right. All right, OK, cool. So two for the racing tire, one for the new, and one for the half worn. Yeah? Do you want to do this? Should we put it to the test? All right. To the test. Yes. All right. So which type of tire will stop in the shortest distance? Will it be the worn tire, the brand new tire, the racing tire, or will it be a dead heat? First up, we have the half-worn set of tyres. 50 miles an hour, exactly. Making sure we'll get the brake at exactly the right time. And three, two, one. So, impressively, the half-worn set of tyres were able to stop the car safely in under 91 feet. But can this distance be bettered? Right. The half-worn... Pretty good, guys. Stopped here. Beat that. I will. One quick tyre change later, and I'm ready to test the new set of tyres. Brand new tyres. Here we go. Three, two, one. Whoa. That's interesting. The new tyres actually take around 17 more feet to stop than the half-worn. Wow, that's a big difference. Big Ooh. difference! You're still winning, buddy. Good job. <laughs> so far, so good job. Brand new tyre. Look at that. I wouldn't have expected that, dude. Last up, the racing car tyres. Now, these couldn't be put on a normal car, so I'm using this rather mean-looking machine instead. I'll still be travelling at 50 miles an hour when I jam on the brakes, so the test remains the same. But how will they cope? Ah! I think we have our loser. Each tyre's performance can vary based on a number of factors, but every time we gave this a go, we got pretty much the same results and always the same winner. Now, that never happened, all right? You did not <laughs> see that. I crashed a $200,000 well, car. Oh, don't stop. Your driving's getting worse yeah, as the day goes. It wasn't my driving, it was the tyres, and I can explain why. So, let's look at the one that Mum and Dad chose first. The racing car tyre. Why did that crash? Well, in order to get traction on a road, in order to stick, you have to have as much rubber down on the road as possible, OK? That that one would be the stickiest in dry conditions. But when it's wet, basically, you hydroplane. You get the tyre, you get the road, and you get a skim of water between the two. You might as well not have any grip at all, and you saw what happened there, OK? 
Let's talk about a new car tyre, this one here. Why didn't that one win? And these car tyres have to work in the wet, in the dry, in the snow, in the ice, in the wind, everything. So tyre manufacturers came along and put these grooves in there to get around the problem with the sports tyre. So what happens is the water gets funneled into these canals and goes out the side. So hopefully you get a bit of dry road and a bit of traction, OK? But why didn't that tyre win? How come your tyre won? Because I'm awesome. Yes, there is actually more to it than that. What these guys have done, and I say these guys, it's the Michelin Premier. These guys have realised that as tyres get worn, these particular grooves that are in the tyres start wearing down. You get less volume of water that can be shifted because it's a smaller canal, OK? So therefore, you're more likely to hydroplane again. They've gone, this is a problem. Safety is a big issue here. So they've developed something called Evergrip technology. They've worked out a way of exposing new grooves, new canals that expose themselves as the tyre wears. So if you look down the side of that tyre, you can see there are almost drill holes through it. And when you wear through the top layer of rubber, it opens up a new canal, and that means you can still disperse nearly the same amount of water. Also, these tyres are made from a mixture of extreme amounts of silica mixed with specialised rubbers and sunflower oil for high levels of wet grip in cold temperatures. So that thing is super sticky on the road, and that, young man, is why you are the winner. Thank you very much. What? Where's my prize? Well, you can get to ride home with me in my car. No. <laughs> yeah, I don't happen. think we're letting you drive. <laughs> well, all I've got are the keys for that. Seriously? All right. Well, who am I going to get? Kids driving <laughs> nice a race car? Day. Right, it's can I get a ride driver. back with you? <laughs> Michelin man, hello? Brought to you by Michelin and the new premier all-season tire with Evergrip technology. Michelin, a better way forward.